Uh-oh. Here Watch out, Here she comes. You know she's got a crush on you. Yeah, Miss Nadine herself. I'm going to get off my throne You're way up there, boy. to come over here and see you. <laughs> How you doing, Nadine? I'm doing good. That's what I heard. Or Steve Graham. How you doing, bud? Are you really a man? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, buddy, you better oh watch out. You'll goodness. be that smell in my trunk. <laughs> Am I really a man? Well, I tell you what, the last time I remember seeing you, you and your lovely wife was out at my house and we changed clothes and did a commercial. I wore your clothes and you wore my clothes. I sure look good in them too. I think you look better than I did. What commercial was that for? Branson. And he put my dress on and honey, he looked good. <laughs> I put her hat on, her glasses he did. He had on. Cold. Her dress and that got dress, it, got that dress, dress will never be in shape again. Got it all stuffed good. And oh, yeah. He even, yeah. He got wow. stuffed really good. I haven't good. seen it. Well, we don't show it much. <laughs> no, somebody, <laughs> somebody already showed that, and I'll tell you. I know it. I know it. I got this cough, and I'm scared to death. I'm just going to cough right in this microphone, and I'm going to scare everybody to death. Probably. <clears throat> It's good to see I you. I can cover it with my ogre horn over here. No, you can shut that horn up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Um, what was I going to tell you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my memory's gone. My memory's gone. It's hard to be nostalgic when you don't have a memory. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, me and Homer's watching the weather. All these old people, that's all we do is watch the weather. I don't know why. There's nothing else to do on it, yeah. But anyway, for 364 days, we watched the weather. And then on February the 2nd, my husband says, y'all shut up now. There's going to be a groundhog going to be telling the weather for going to predict the future. We got to listen to him. Oof. Gets on my nerves. <laughs> With the groundhog or Homer? Both. Just checking. Both. Did now, I show you this? I know. It's really cool. He's a, he's a comedian and a magician. <laughs> I had cataract surgery. And this one, I'd had it done before the cruise. And I'd pulled this lens out because it had a, the stigmatism, astigmatism is now gone. Came back and had this one done. We don't have a lens in it yet. But you can't wear a prescription there because I don't need the prescription anymore. So I took the lens out. He just likes to wear his frame. You don't really need it. That's, right. <laughs> That's true. My husband did it in, Homer did it in a garage, did his cataract surgery. <laughs> I would have, but I had the Lincoln parked in there at the time. Well, I tell you, uh, have I totally you, confused you? Totally you totally got me off course here. <laughs> Forgot where I was. <laughs> You're in Ray Stevens. <laughs> hey, who was that? Who was that? Oh, Delbury. Man I think you needed times. a rim shot. No, um, right. <laughs> I remember where I was. We was talking about memory. I didn't have any yes, memory. That's right. Homer says it's really bad when your wife says you only got one thing on your mind and you can't remember what it is. That's what he says. That's what he said. He's like that. I know. I, I was in North Carolina last weekend, and I walked in this hotel room, and I thought, in a hotel lobby, and I thought, there's a lot of seniors staying here because doors was open. There was door keys in the outside door. The alarms in the cars were going off. You do that. What? You know, it's just like we forget stuff. We had luggage out in the hallway, and there was door keys in the door on the outside. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you did. You know, Larry Gatlin gave me some memory pills to improve your memory. You sure they were memory pills? Yeah, they were memory pills. <laughs> but it didn't help me. I kept forgetting to take them. 
<laughs> wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a good one. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, we, we was in this. That is pretty pitiful. <laughs> we were in this restaurant. We were sitting there in North Carolina in this restaurant. And we noticed this man up there at the bar. He was talking to this woman, and he just kept talking to her and talking to her. And he finally looked at her, and he said, Honey, I want to tell you something. I may not be the best-looking guy here, but I'm the only one talking to you. <laughs> and Homer looked right at him, and he said, looked at her, and he said, Listen to the boy. You better go with him. You better go with him. It, it, just, it was really embarrassing to me. This is just really going downhill fast. You totally, <laughs> you totally lost me. Well, I do. I, I lose you every time we can do this. <laughs> I tell them to him, but I told him I can't explain them to him. Understand them for him. You That's know, if, right. I, if I agreed with you, we'd both be wrong. That's right. I'd be the one that was right. Well, hey, you know what? No. I have figured out what men really want, though. They want to be really, really close to somebody that'll leave them alone. That's true. I finally figured that out after 54 years. See? I'm gonna put the church sign up. See what you got, you got to look forward to? Oh no, I take the pills. You take the pills. <laughs> hey, they're from Franklin. Uh-huh. Your sister-in-law is sitting out here and she's been married 37 years. You, My sister-in-law has? I didn't hear you announce that. Have you been married that long? Christy, I married you and him. It's not supposed to last that long. <laughs> oh, you officiated. I thought you were saying you married. They've been married. I did. That was right. What's sign going to say? Going up. It's going to say it's better to walk alone than with a crowd going in the wrong direction. Oh, that's oh, for sure. I like that. I like that one. Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe like, and ring the bell.